So ever since we got the extremely exciting announcement that GoldenEye would indeed be coming to Nintendo Switch Online back at the last September Nintendo Direct event, we were left with an end screen that simply said coming soon in the North American and European regions of the world. And in Japan, it clearly said 2023, causing a lot of debate and speculation online on whether or not Nintendo would launch it on different times in different parts of the world, as a lot of fans, myself included, were very hopeful that it would be a December Nintendo Switch Online title, essentially a space for that month by launching Mario Party 1 and 2 in the month of November. But that clearly did not happen, and everybody is now calling into question, what is Nintendo's definition of coming soon? Because hopefully we should be able to expect some kind of official announcement and hard date soon. And in today's video, we have to go over the reason why a lot of eyes are now turned to January amongst Microsoft's brand new confirmation that they will be holding a developer direct showcase later this month on January 25th. And we have to break down and discuss whether or not we should expect any kind of official GoldenEye announcement to be at this event right now. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Summer Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today. And make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. And as I mentioned guys, today we are talking all things GoldenEye and just recently on the channel, we talked about the state of Nintendo Switch Online currently. And yeah, we definitely feel like we are in a little bit of a drought as gamers. And I can see from the comment section from you guys that a lot of you are feeling that way right now when you've paid upfront for a service for 12 months and we have no clear communication around when Nintendo will add in new games to this service but clearly one that will justify the price point for a lot of fans and a highly anticipated game that has not been easily playable in years and years is 007 GoldenEye and while not everybody may appreciate this game for what it has to offer in the modern day if you were alive and playing video games when this originally came out on the N64 you know just how revolutionary of a title this was when it comes to experiencing things like 3D first person shooters on consoles. And I am saying this as somebody who is in the modern day, not a big first person shooter guy. Just about everyone I know is deeply invested in Call of Duty Warzone 2 right now and played Warzone before it. And I can't bring myself to get fully immersed in that world. However, one world I did fully get immersed into with both multiplayer and just the single player campaign was GoldenEye. It was that big of a deal when it was out. It was hours and hours of fun on split screen multiplayer with friends and switching different modes having the golden gun where one shot immediately killed you doing the paintball cheat where you're painting over the walls instead of bullets god forbid you turn on proximity mines and have a fun match with stuff like that it was just hours and hours of endless fun and this game has had a ton of red tape around its release as back in 2007, 2008 timeframe, Xbox with their rare development team decided to go ahead and do a remaster project for GoldenEye before they put all the development effort in, before they got official signatures from all parties involved being Nintendo, Microsoft, and MGM to green light the project. And that is actually a playable, very enjoyable version of GoldenEye that you can download and emulate on a PC today, but it never saw the light of day because of all of the complications with clearing the rights for this game when there are different parties involved that want their piece of the pie. And in a surprising segment at the last Nintendo Direct, we of course got the confirmation that a deal has been reached and that GoldenEye will be coming over. And we did talk about it into its lead up because we saw rare developers unlocking achievements for a different version of GoldenEye that was not the Xbox Live Arcade version. So clearly there was enough smoke around this that there was probably a fire and indeed that did turn out to be true but now we are left waiting with why did they announce this all the way back in September at that direct if it wasn't even releasing in that calendar year at all and we are now in 2023 just wondering what the heck does coming soon mean to Nintendo I'm ready to play GoldenEye I'm sure you are ready to play GoldenEye we all want to be able to experience this game interestingly enough we will have it launching both on Xbox Game Pass and Nintendo Switch Online presumably at the same time. And with that, there are actually some feature differences as we will be getting on the Switch, the N64 ROM, but touched up with better visuals, of course, in terms of the pixelation. It's not gonna look like an N64 game. It's gonna look like every single game that you play on NSO, which is brighter, more vibrant visuals, and clearly a much higher resolution, but a big thing that the NSO version will have 
is online multiplayer, albeit at the cost of not having things like native widescreen. We're gonna have those black bars on the sides and I believe probably a lower frame rate and lower resolution than we will ultimately see it run on on Xbox, which on the Xbox Game Pass, that sounds fantastic as well, a lot of fun, but while you can get things like 4K resolution, 60 FPS and native widescreen support and all of those modern enhancements, you will not have the ability to have online play with friends and there's a lot of back and forth on whether or not that's on Nintendo's end as their exclusive feature that they want to come out with and lead the charge as being the ideal platform that people will want to sign up for expansion pack to drive subscription sales for them. Maybe it's that, but then there also is a lot of discourse that it's actually just tied to the fact that this is being developed through Rare Replay and that that is, at its core is not capable of doing online play. However, I still think that if Microsoft really wanted to pull it off and put it in there and Nintendo would sign off on it, that likely they would have online play. Regardless of all of that, it is now being very heavily talked about again online that January may indeed be the date for this release because recently you may have seen the official announcement that Microsoft will be putting on a Xbox Developer Direct later this month on January 25th. And you can see one post that is being shared around quite a bit over on our gaming leaks and rumors where it says GoldenEye 007 expected to release by the end of January amid the developer showcase announcement. Now they are citing a tweet from an account that I am not familiar with any particular track record, either being positive or negative, but it says when translated end of January equals GoldenEye 007. Now, I'm not personally putting any stock into that Twitter account, not familiar with them at all, but I do think it is an interesting conversation to be had that maybe Nintendo was indeed the one that got the rights to reveal GoldenEye to us, but Microsoft, in a showcase of their own, wants to actually reveal the launch date, and could it just be a shadow drop at that Microsoft showcase, we know to expect a lot of development updates with 2023 titles, but even the Xbox Game Pass account is hyping this thing up, urging people to tune into the event, and it may just be to drive the Game Pass games that they see coming out throughout the rest of 2023. It could also be signifying that, yeah, another classic game that you guys have all been waiting for to play will also be focused on at the showcase with an exact release date, maybe even a shadow drop, and that very well could be GoldenEye. But whether or not we ultimately see it revealed at this Microsoft Developer Direct, I definitely think that as we are now going further into the month of January with no talk of GoldenEye since the middle of September at that last Direct, that it is time to hear something, and I think that comes sooner rather than later. And considering we don't have any official Nintendo 64 game added into Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack in the month of January, it would make all the sense in the world to shadow drop it as an announcement, and Nintendo tweets out shortly after the event, but guess what? Hop into your expansion pack and download GoldenEye right now on the N64. I personally am holding out hope that that is a likely scenario, albeit not guaranteed. But I really want to hear from you guys around the lead up to this GoldenEye launch on the Switch and the Xbox. Are you excited to be checking this thing out once again once it does drop? Are you going to be booting it up on Game Pass and playing through it primarily there? Or will you be hopping into online play with friends first thing? I think the way I'm personally going to do it is download it on Game Pass for the single player campaign pain experience and then on the NSO version just hop into multiplayer rounds with friends and do you think that Nintendo has waited far too long to even talk about this game and maybe it shouldn't have been at that September Direct and what do you think about the overall launch build up to this game do you think that Nintendo shouldn't have actually been the ones to reveal it at the September Direct since it's been so long since we've heard anything about it and can you see the possibility of Microsoft actually being the one responsible for shadow dropping it or just telling us the for sure launch date and when do you personally believe we will all ultimately see it playable on both the Xbox and Nintendo Switch consoles. So regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today, I do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic. Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. I will see you guys in the next video.